When we left off last week, we were trying to fill this hole in our wall with this picture, similar to something like we saw on our cruise, using Steve Ramsey's inkjet label paper transfer system. We started in Photoshop by dividing our photo into four different layers, the foreground, the building, the trees, and the clouds. We used the quick selection tool to move around the areas that we wanted to divide up. So in this case, you can see the dotted lines moving around. I'm going to remove that now, and then we would just paste that into a new layer. The magic of this system is to use inkjet label paper, in our case return labels. When it printed out, the colors were not very bright, so we weren't sure it was going to transfer at all. Turns out, it actually worked really well. That's something. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's something. We did that a bunch more times until we had all of our pieces laid out on one piece of wood. All right, here's what we ended up with. I know it looks like a mess, but that's gonna be the theater sign. That's gonna be the awning. This was trying to use a card to transfer and I put those lines, so don't do that. Here's our foreground. Here is our blurred background, right there. The first thing we did was coat the entire eighth inch sheet of plywood with a spray polyurethane to lock in the colors of the inkjet transfer. Then we rough cut all of our pieces to size, first on the table saw, and then on the band saw. Things were going great, and then this happened. That's the end of the day. We were unsuccessful in finding a replacement blade or a scroll saw at a decent price. So we quit for a few days, and then Craigslist came through. That'll do the trick. 50 bucks on Craigslist. Let's get back to work. Turns out this was better in the end because the scroll saw is the perfect tool for this job. Here is the rough cut, all complete. Now I've just got a lot of sanding to do. Okay, so now I have an option of either just gluing all of these directly to each other, so there's eighth inch spacing in between each one, a quarter inch, I mean, or actually spacing all of these out on a block of wood that it sits on so that there's a little more gap in between each layer. Okay, they're all cut and fit on the wood, and what I've done is added these sides running straight up. I just had these as scrap, and I don't have enough to do the top. So what I was actually thinking is coming up and following this contour and actually cutting this back and then having it follow up the clouds. Well, I like how that turned out, but I very stupidly just cut a little bit too far with the table saw on both sides. All right, I think I'm ready to glue up. I filled these a little bit with sawdust and glue. I'll do some more later. Now, take it back apart and glue all these pieces in. There it is. That's as far as I'm going to take it for a prototype. So I'm going to hit it with a coat of spray lacquer and see if we can get some of these colors to pop a little bit more. But other than that, it's ready for install. Turned out pretty cool. So I really like the way the photo turned out itself, the project itself. How it actually looks in the wall, I'm not super thrilled about. It's a little bit uh, kind of thrown together more than I really thought it would be. But as far as experiments go, this was a success. There's a few things I would change and we'll definitely be doing it again in the future. So look forward to that and I hope you found this helpful. Bye.